Good morning, this is Franz Jekan Inserto from group number 2 of BSN 1-3 and I will be doing the experiment number 5, carbohydrates. But first, uh, we should gather our materials. So first is we have our rice, um, rice with saliva, rice with boiled saliva, bread, bread with saliva, bread with boiled saliva, sucrose, brown sugar, and our starch. Also, our dropper and iodine. So, since we already have our um, materials in place in uh, small cups, we will then proceed to the step number two, which is to um, add one drop to of iodine solution to each carb carbohydrate solution. Okay. So, first is our rice. Rice with saliva. Rice with boiled saliva. Bread. Bread with saliva. Bread with boiled saliva. Um, our sucrose. And our brown sugar. And the starch. Then the last uh, step to our experiment is to note and record uh, the color of each sample. So after a whole minute, this is the resulting color of each sample. First, we have our rice, then our rice with saliva, rice with boiled saliva, our bread, bread with boiled, um, no, bread with saliva, bread with boiled saliva, sucrose, brown sugar and our starch now we're going to discuss the data obtained from the experiment of each test sample with iodine first is the sucrose after one minute the color of iodine solution in the carbohydrate sample is brown almost red in color which results to negative presence of carbohydrates Brown sugar. After one minute, the color of iodine solution in the carbohydrate sample is brown but much darker than the brown sugar, which results to negative presence of carbohydrate. Starch. After one minute, the color of iodine in the carbohydrate sample is super black, which results to positive presence of carbohydrate. Rice without saliva. After one minute, the color of iodine solution on the carbohydrate sample became black which concludes that there is a presence of carbohydrate. Rice with saliva. After one minute, the color of iodine solution in the carbohydrate sample is black, but light if compared to rice without saliva, which concludes that there is a presence of carbohydrate in the test sample. Then, rice with saliva, boiled. After one minute, the color of the iodine solution is seen as mostly light brown with dark brown chunks, which results to negative presence of carbohydrate. Bread without saliva. After one minute, the color of iodine solution in the carbohydrate sample is color black, which indicates that there is a presence of carbohydrate. Bread with saliva. After one minute, the color of the iodine solution in the carbohydrate sample is color black, almost same to the bread without saliva but a little lighter, which indicates that there is a presence of carbohydrate. 
bread with saliva boiled. After one minute, the color of the ID solution in the carbohydrate sample is color brown to light brown, dark brown patches and black patches, which indicates that the, there is a negative presence of carbohydrates. For guide question number one, what color indicates the presence of carbohydrates in the sample? Since the experiment of carbohydrates was done with an iodine test, it is said that the color black or blue black indicates the presence of carbohydrates in the sample. Based on the experiment, the saliva contributes a lot in the analysis of carbohydrates such as rice and bread. One of these can be significantly seen in the process of digestion. The saliva helps in coating food once it was done in the mastication process or the chewing part. With this, it breaks down some of the starches in the carbohydrates into pieces and enhances the sweetness of the food. In short, the saliva helps in the conversion from starch to sucrose in food but mostly in carbohydrates. For question number 3, is there a different result between boiled and unboiled saliva? Explain. Based on the experiment, there is a different result between boiled and unboiled saliva on the carbohydrate samples which are the rice and bread. In the data, it was seen that the boiled rice and bread has a light and dark brown patches after the test. Therefore, it was not qualified to the standard color in the iodine test. Moreover, it is said that when samples, rice or bread with saliva, is added to the iodine solution, then black or blue-black color appears because there is a presence of starch, thus making it positive for the result. On the other hand, when the samples, rice or bread with saliva and is boiled or added to the iodine solution, then the color of iodine will not change because of digestion of starch into sugars, thus became negative as the result. For generalization, to end, the experiment is kind of bottom using and icky. It was amusing because a simple food like rice and bread can have different results just with the components that you add and eat to it. Moreover, it was amazing that the saliva played a lot in conversion of food, especially carbohydrates, wherein it turns the starch into sucrose to help our body have energy throughout the day. On the other hand, it was kind of icky since the one who experiments it needed to use their own saliva just to demonstrate the whole experiment and make it more understandable to everyone in the group.